10,000 raid point psychic ship. Oh. Oops, all centipedes. Not even all centipedes. There's even um two centurions there. Scythers. There's an Apocriton. Boy, oh boy. All right, guys, we're here to worship the uh, the artifact. We're here to worship the artifact, and that's the only reason we're here. Subscriber. Here we are. Hey, guys, how's it going? Not how it's going. They've locked themselves in the bedroom. What are they doing in there? They're they're doing murder in there. A gleaming endowment. They're doing murder. Emo, there's a guy behind the rocks. Get him. Chicon, this guy. Emo back. Play spark down south. Alright, are you tough? You're a psychopath, but you're not tough. What about you? What about you? Jerks. These jerks. All right, well, let's get out of here. Finished it, right? Okay. All right, ancient danger down here. All right, looks like one ancient danger. We'll hit this up. We're looking for tough pawns. We're looking for weapons. We weren't looking for centipedes, so that's what we found. That's what we found. just run through beheading them wait 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 oh uh, i bet they were they might have been tough or it could have been just been the go juice yeah it was the go juice again all right well they all died so ever accidentally extract someone's skull no happens to me sometimes so what was in there architect arm yeah uh let's stop at another one on the way home why not just the ability to stun pawns from remote like stun guns not a lance um, non-lethal things. There's mods for that, of course, but non-lethal, um, weapons would be kind of nice, yeah. Have, like, a, a gun that shoots rubber bullets or something. Or a net. A gun that shoots a net or something. There are mods for it, of course, but in the base game, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, Newton is up. All right, Newton, grab your masterwork sword. You're a melee god now. Act like it. What does that mean? You don't know. I can't teach you. Sounds like you're just a bad teacher then. Newton, I will send you out. Hopefully we can get another tough pawn. Not, well, what do we have on the sleeves here? Do you have any that might be candidates if, even if we don't get them? We have a Sanguine Brawler. Recluse and Sanguine are basically going to cancel each other out, so he's pretty much just a brawler. Crafting, mining, destruction, mainly. So if we don't find another one and we need another pawn, we can grab them. This one's great, too. Chub Nuts. Great memory, nimble. Actually, Chub Nuts, you're looking, looking mighty good, Chub Nuts. All right. Praise the sub. <laughs> Boomerang just runs in. If you guys can stop decapitating them. As we want to recruit them, that would be that would be, that would be real cool of you. We're gonna have to go attack places with no weapons on. Look at all that wood. I don't really want the wood, so I kind of killed these guys for almost no reason, but that's all right. Alrighty, it's ancient danger time.
Oh, no fire. We got this. Recording has begun. Only two caskets? I don't know. Stupid civilization only has two people. Got some more loose spearing, so that's nice, I guess. Try again. What am I hunting for? I'm hunting for tough pawns and architect stuff, yeah. Then win with sticks so they stop decapitating people. <laughs> that's maybe a good idea. Hey, I will kidnap someone from the Empire. I don't care. I'll do anything to get tough pawns. Anything. Anything. No. <laughs> I think I'm going to call a traitor. Maybe there will be someone I can kidnap from them. I mean, enticed to stay with us indefinitely. Peacefully convince them to stay forever. Yeah. Hey, stop attacking that drill. I need those. How many hives we got over here now? Up to four. Okay. Kill it, Newton. You're a melee god now. Show us how it how it feels. Chew five gum. Oh look, ancient danger right bias. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, two flame centipedes. All right, we got the melee locked. We're good. We are good. Well, look at that. Holy crap. Great memory, super immune, hard worker. All right, come on, tough on. Come on, tough on. Uh. Oh. My shield belt. And this pawn or this uh this run has been really hard to get tough pawns. It's so easy when you uh when you raise children to be tough, you know. Hey, resurrect mech serum. It's been so long since I found res serum in ancient danger. Man oh man. And res random tough pawn. Tempting. What are you doing, Newton? Ravenously hungry. Just eat food. Just eat food. Oh my god, he solved world hunger. I just telling people to eat. I think Newton was still yeah, I think Newton was still drafted from the bear. I just forgot about him while I was doing ancient danger stuff. I think I might go ahead and uh research the toxin filtration. I have to build a new uh research area. I wasn't initially going to do it. The reason why I'm thinking about doing it is so I can just make our own lungs and kidneys and stuff when someone's missing one. So, all right, an architect arm. All right, we're going to try to put this on Christopher. Architect arm, right shoulder. Um, mind freeze. Go ahead and take some drugs and put this arch architect arm on here. All right. All right, Cougar, let's go. This playthrough is so different in this regard. Like, usually if someone's getting hunted by a big creature, it's like, oh, God, quick, pull them away, kite, while we bring someone else down. And this one is just like go time. Melee experience. So we are raid capped. So let me time to get some fancy floors, get the, the beauty even higher. What's the best way to deal with a droner? Basically have a raid take care of it. I can wake it up with um like a slave that doesn't really matter. No, I can't use mortars and bombardments or salvos. No, no, that's melee. So I can't use that. So we're basically waiting for the next. Uh, I would really like to have another uh, pollution infestation. I'm not sure if you can have them at the same time as these. Real tribute collector. All right. <gasps> Tough nimble. S screw the empire. Tough nimble body modder. Who are you? 
Patak Dopnismus. It's not how it's pronounced. Head scars. Screw it. We got loose fear him. You know? Right this way, sir. Right this way. I have to re ally the Empire. Yeah, and someone's, I think, coming off cooldown right now, pretty much. No tributes. Only kidnapping. Our, our modest fellowship expands. Oh, right this way, gentlemen. Right this way. Right this way. Wow, right, look. They're all here to greet us. Nice. Excellent. Newton, kill this guy. Friendly welcoming committee, yeah. I could save that guy and send him back for some rep, but ah. Wow, way to go, Diog Diogenes. How do you pronounce any of this? We're making so many drugs, we'll just re-ally them through like drugs and, you know, even meat and leather and stuff. Are bugs on? Let me check. Uh, I'm gonna go no. Sorry, we killed your dudes. Here's some drugs. Are we cool now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're cool. We love drugs. We ally the anti-drug empire with drugs. Yeah. <laughs> no drugs. Medical only. Hey, what are you using all of this uh, go juice for? It's for medical purposes. Yeah, what about the flake? What are you doing with the flake? Me me medical. Medical purposes. What kind of medical things are you doing with flake? You wouldn't understand. You're not a doctor. Operation Christopher. Look at you, Christopher. Double Arcotech arm. So we have so much uh, Lucerium. I think it's time to put it on everyone. Like, I already have it in everyone's pocket. And we're at raid cap, so. And if I end up screwing up and I forget someone, they die. I have a res serum, so. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to start start going on the Lucerium. All right, let's do it. The devil's bar bargain. Here we go. Almost two years worth. Yeah, we can get more. All right, Christopher. Welcome to the dark side. You will now have to take Luciferium. Every six point tonight, we dine in hell. Every six point six six days, or you will die. All right, lumberjack. Crack is already on it. Mind freeze. Shikan, blade spark. Lock. Bemo. Dude's like, wait, what did I get myself into? Godhood. Hang on, one second. I gotta, I gotta see something. I just gotta see something real quick. Look at Blade Spark's stats. <laughs> Look at those stats. 198% manipulation. 200% sight. 150% hearing. Blood filtration is at 170. They're on some super drugs. How many pawns are taking loose serum now? Uh, nine. Nine pawns. Melee gods, luciferium. Keep one and take for addiction. All right, Cassandra, what you gonna hit us with? We'll accept this after the Cassandra hits. Roof collapse. Oh, must be the bugs. Eight hives. Okay. Masterwork cataphract armor. Uh, okay, that's going on... Crack. There you go. What's our ideology color again? Alright. Oh, I know where it is. Okay, this will give us plus one mood. Look at this. The specimen, the progenitor of all melee gods. <laughs> Looking fast in that red. Conversion. Okay, uh, does anyone have a recruitment? We do. Crack has one. Ah, screw it. <laughs> uh, what a lovely room. What a lovely place. Man, Takamas, you've been asleep forever. It's almost like it takes you a long time to get rest recovery when you're sleeping on a metal floor. He's up. Chat, chat, chat. I don't want to be a god. You took me away from my family and my friends. Yeah, well, forget them. Forget them. All right. Uh, let's see your name. PT. Corpse Obsession. We have a corpse that you can dig up? Did I, did I, oh, I buried someone a long time ago. That's right. Sacrifice. I accidentally buried them. Well, at least... Uh, yeah, if you can bring those into the base so we can just burn them, that'd be excellent. Yeah, bring them up here. 
All right, thank you. Thank you. They counted that as a prisoner escape? What kind of BS is that? So I grabbed three colonists while we were out doing ancient dangers to check and see if um if they had good stats and they didn't, so I just left them behind and now we're like, oh the prisoners escaped. That's what you get for not executing them all. Very soft hearted in Rimworld, always doing things purely for sentimental reasons. That's right, yeah. Remember yesterday when I left a puppy to die on the edge of the map because I couldn't be bothered to pick him up on the way home? Very sentimental in this Rimworld run, yeah. <laughs> we let the puppy starve to death on the edge of the map. I could have brought him home. But if I had brought him home, I would have just killed him for meat. So, I mean, that's still better. That's still better. What could they do to make the Arco Nexus ending better? I would have liked a more combat based event. And I know most of the or all the other end game ones are combat based. So maybe that's why they did it. And I also would like for the credit music to be better. The credit music is so good on any of the launch events. And then you get to the Arco Nexus one. It's like, yeah, having like a boss mech or something, you know, making an actual ending instead of just walking up to a device and being like, boop, credits. Some of the Arco Nexus maps don't even have mechs on them. Some of them just have like a couple mechs that are asleep and you just go push, push the Arco Nexus button and you just win. Like if you had to go there and like build a structure, some kind of mech structure or something, you had to defend while you were building it or something, I don't know. The journey, not the destination. Yeah, the journey was was super fun making the making a colony three times in a row. They've changed it a few times since I did it, but anyway, I, obviously some people are going to enjoy it. For me, it was just like meh. Yeah, I always thought that the different stages just shouldn't be copy paste of each other. A different goal each of the bases would have been really nice. Or like maybe you're required to have a different biome on each one or something like every time you do your first one, like the other ones are always a different biome or something. Of course, you could just move, but you know. The five person transfer seems kind of weird to you as well. Yeah, it's always kind of odd because like you have people that have been with the colony forever, like literally raised or one of the like starting founders of the colony or something. Been there for like years and years and years. One of the like founding members and whatnot. And it's just like, uh, you're just going to go live with someone else forever. I mean, there's a lot of things like that that are unrealistic and gamified. But I don't know. There's something about the Arco Nexus that I just didn't, didn't prefer. And hunters. That's a lot of angry animals, guys. Here we are at 10,000 point raid. All right. What is it? Attacking immediately. There it is. Oh, that's big. 176. We're coming straight for the bugs. There's not a lot of bugs, though. I asked Cassandra for tribal, she delivered. I think there's more friendly fire death than bug death, yeah. Like, let's take him out! Oh, there's nothing there to burn, though. All right, we got Hip Hop Anonymous over here shooting at a grizzly bear. Uh, he doesn't understand how cover works. He thinks if he puts rocks behind him, it'll help the cover. He's wrong. Uh, don't do this. There's a random skull. No idea. Skull of an e of elk. No idea. Bear's actually not attacking, though. Bugs are all destroyed we actually do have a fire in here that can clear up some stuff hopefully there's no rain starting anytime soon must be a flame bow in the mix all right cool we did it taking cover in front of rocks against a bear yeah <laughs> you think we can even get out there in time if one of these was a great pawn Thinking probably not. A decisive bug victory. Starship Trooper stuff right there. Bug planet. An ugly planet. Yeah, I don't know how many brains were sucked out over there, but 
you have to kill those bugs you don't have to you know i mean the ones that are going to come close and like start knocking on the doors and whatnot will will end up killing ones that are going to hit the wall like these ones it's unfortunate because the reason why they're doing that right now is because their nest is burning so we're taking damage and so they're headed this way right now it's just a nuisance Tiles go on horrific wasteland, yeah. <laughs> Do not go outside the walls. I recommend staying inside. Sun never shines. All animals are mad. There are mutant bugs and giant mechs sleeping all over the place. Pollution, constant smog and snow. <laughs> and in the compounds of this microchip base live nine melee gods. All right, how are we doing on those uh, those legs? Okay, mind freeze, do some drugs, and then get to the surgery room. The operating room, please. Do your drugs first. All right, excellent. There we go. Bionic leg, left leg, bionic leg, right leg. Mind freeze, you're still on drugs. Go do some surgery. Do some drugs for your surgery. Have I built a ship? No, not yet. Well, aesthetic's probably dead. Probably won't worry about royalty stuff. Unless we get a tough aesthetic. But Adam, you could save him. I could do a lot of things. Saving aesthetic is not very high on my list. Step over aesthetic lying on the ground like they aren't even there. <laughs> and just walk over his face. They're playing horseshoes while he's laying here dying. They're throwing horseshoes over the explosive chem fuel barrels. Put the horseshoe pin under him. They won't do it because he's already taken up that tile. What kind of garbage is that? That's a uh, tile economy. Wait, oh, you know what? We can't let him die with that gear on. You're right. There we go. He's actually pretty good. Maybe we should have made him into a slave. Make him into a slave, I guess. Let's get him some really good accommodations. There we go. There we go. Only the best for aesthetic. Only the best. What do you mean the best? That's the best you can. That's the best I can offer. They're aesthetic, yes. Yeah, so it's probably a five star for them. They would leave a they would leave a positive review. I accidentally did a good thing. All right, there we go. Two more bionic leg sets. All right, lumberjack, it's time. Uh, let's do it from behind, right by the loudspeakers. Here we go, PT. You already have the gear of the gods. Now it's time to have the genes of the gods. Do it by the what? What, what are we doing? All right. Uh, let's go hit an ancient danger while we're waiting on this. Yeah, I got it. I think I got the drone quest. I probably do that for the next where he comes to. Yeah, maybe we should do that first. Yeah, all right. We'll do it first. We'll do it first. Let's let mind freeze and blade spark get up. Then we'll do the, the hacking quest. Maybe it'll be um humanoids that come this time. I won't wait on PT, but I'll wait on these guys to get... um. It's coming from inside the house. That is so stupid. Oh man. How's that not bust up the floor? That's a good question. The the bugs came out like through the the cracks or something, I don't know. War crimes committed in a child only run. Remember the first thing we did? Oh my god. My first biotech run up on YouTube. We did some awful things for science. Anyone remember experiment? Anyone remember experiment? God. Hey, experiment became a god, all right? They had a really rough childhood, a really rough childhood, but they they grew up to be a god, so it's uh it's fine for some reason. Remember when we were doing the the like, hey, let's see how much meat we get from a newly born baby. Let's see how much let's see how much human leather a newborn gives. Yeah, we did all that stuff. It was like some of the some of the earliest stuff we did. Remember Mortar Baby? Yes, I do. And I was like, I was also like, hey, you know, it's really hard for enemies to hit a prone person. What if we put a baby sleeping spot in the middle of the kill box and we see if we can give it a shield belt or something and then we have raiders shoot at the baby because they, they won't be able to hit the baby really. We'll put the baby behind some cover in a little sleeping spot and it's a small target and it's prone, so they're gonna have a real hard time. They're just gonna waste 
they're gonna waste their shots on the baby while we're shooting at them yeah we did all that we did that uh you couldn't put a shield belt on a baby at that time now children can have shield belts though so might actually be pretty viable now so yeah um that that ship has sailed yeah we've uh we've done we've done some we've done some things you mean you've done some things you're not proud of i didn't say that i just said we've done some things incredibly proud of mortar baby i can't believe mortar baby survived they literally had like one hp left yeah all right it's party time insulting spree at the party sim nice dance again do you have a tough for the next pawn no that's what i'm trying to get here hey three hey all right do not come from the direction of the bugs all right okay apparently you did not understand the assignment all right well we got two children which is unfortunate tough steadfast yes od way to go od way to go wait we don't need to arrest him we're literally oh, hey christopher I, I, slow down this is what we're literally about to i think let me check, check the days on it it's 14 it's 14 and 11 is the closest actually all right so we gotta do it the rules say we gotta do it. i'm sorry i'm sorry od i'm not sorry at all actually what are you doing crack I want the jelly. I just had a hankering for some jelly. No one says hankering anymore. OPT, you don't have a weapon. There you go, crack. There you go. I hear you playing with a comms console child when you could be out there shoveling toxic debris what are you doing child uh, i'm going to the very edge of where i'm allowed to go yeah shoveling waste builds character all right let's accept this quest Ooh, that sucks price it's almost as bad as it could possibly get all right, let's get down here. Oh, this is gonna be really scary. All for legendary weapon. I hope they don't come in right here. A non-linear line. Oh, you want me, want me to drop one again? Twenty-one pirates. Good. Okay. What kind of weapons? Oh, it's fine. They're they're mostly melee. Like one non-melee. We'll rip these apart, no problem. Oh, oh. Oh. You're fleeing? Yeah, I'd be fleeing as well. What's up, Connor and Blaster? This run is so silly. Oh, it's so nuts. Fleeing is futile. All right. Quest complete. Hidden structure examination. All right. So we'll definitely do this one. Uh, this is the last one, and then we'll get the location. All right. Let's go. Let's go do this. Let's do it. It's gonna be scary though yeah i don't i don't i don't know that i've ever done one of the shuttle ones i've done the walking ones i've done several of the walking ones during this run but hopefully i uh i timed this correctly now nah, we're gonna be in some serious trouble we're gonna have to rebuild from two people <laughs> all right time to get out of the clown car it's kind of laggy this might be big
Adam, there's a front door. We make our own doors. You and Frankie? Oh my god, Blade Spark. You're too fast for your own good, gather. being on fire for a second thank you so i'm destroying these so that it's open to the air so that it immediately neutralizes the temperature anyone wondering why the fire isn't absolutely roasting us also gives us some more outs anyway Kim fuel. Nice. Okay, there's the third one. Side of the complex having some uh, issues. Yeah, just a few. Okay, so there's number four. Two complexes. Uh, yeah, it's been a long. I don't think I've done them since ideology release until this run, obviously. Okay, so we can get back on the shuttle now. That's fine. Let's just get out of here. I'm really afraid the Cassandra's gonna hit. Uh, let's open this at least. Yeah, these things always suck. It's just gonna be basically. Luciferium at best, probably. Yeah, we'll just get in the shuttle and go. We got what we really wanted, so. All right. Relic found. There we go.